Israel has announced publicly for the first time that it will comply with the international sanctions against Russia. Israel says it won't be used as a means to bypass the sanctions on Russia. So, Shia, the point that we were trying to discuss, that President Zelensky may be keen on um, a mediation being initiated by Israelis. What about Vladimir Putin? And particularly, uh, what is it that... Uh, Israel can offer to Vladimir Putin in terms of an exit route, which will also be seen to be dignified for his own domestic audience. Uh, the news that we are breaking right now is very significant and could impact, Maria, uh, these peace talks and these peace negotiations. There's a proposal on the table. It could impact that because Israel so far has been, you know, neutral as far as the entire conflict is concerned much like India and much like China. But now if Israel says that it will not be used to bypass any sanctions against the Russians, for Russia, it will mean that they are picking a side. As I said, uh, Israel is a country with a working relationship with both countries. But if Israel is seen uh, to be going along with the West as far as sanctions are concerned, there is very little chance that President Putin will agree to come all the way to Jerusalem yes. for this, you know, for this talk that will be mediated by Israel. I don't see that happening after this news that you've just broken. And Shia, if the nature of uh, the sanctions is becoming tougher, there are several countries which are also cancelling visas of Russians, uh, then uh, what is it that Vladimir Putin may be looking forward uh, for, for? Because he has to communicate to the international audience as much as his domestic audience, which will now be worried about the real outcome of this war, 19 days and counting. Uh, Kiev is still to fall. Kiev is still to fall. It is 19 days and counting. Uh, this is one of the mightiest armies in the yes. world. And yet in 18 days, your military operation is not over. Now, pro-Russian military analysts will say, uh, this is playing out to plan. This is brilliant strategy. But the others who are watching it from a distance are saying this looks confused. If a country like Russia has to reach out to China and ask them for missiles and drones and other equipment, it clearly means uh, that things are not going entirely the way Russia had hoped it would. Look, there were initial reports, and these are again unconfirmed reports because this is the fog of war, but initial reports have suggested that there was a 15-day deadline for this operation to end. And I say operation because Russia still calls this a military operation and not a war. So if it was to end in 15 days, this is the 19th day running. In a situation like this, you are even reaching out to a country like China for drones and missiles. Uh, clearly, things have not gone according to plan. The sanctions are hurting. There is no doubt about that. In fact, uh, there are now reports in Reuters which are suggesting that India has been offered a huge discount on Russian oil and petrol. Look, fact is, uh, Russia produces 16% of the world's oil and 18% of uh, the world's petroleum. Uh, the US is one of their biggest markets. Uh, that market they have complete no ac access to. The other big market is the European Union. Again, European Union is saying we are going to be phasing out Russian oil. In a situation like this, you have a massive reserve left and you need to sell it to someone. And Russian companies, oil companies, especially the state-owned companies, uh, are sitting on huge, huge surpluses. Where do they send these surpluses to? India has been offered a discount, mm -hmm. a 25 to 27% discount at a time when global oil prices are at a 14-year high. At one point, they touched 137 uh, dollars a barrel, which meant that uh, the domino effect would be felt here in India as well. Elections are over and all of us were bracing for oil prices to go up, for petroleum prices to go up. Uh, in a situation like this, will India accept this offer? It's a very yes. lucrative offer for India. Yes. But India also has to consider many things. A, how will you get this, this amount of oil slash petroleum here? You know, there are ports that need to be coordinated with. What about uh, payments. How do you make these payments? Because Russia has been cut off the SWIFT banking system. So is there an alternate way? If you need to buy this oil, then you have to look at an alternative. You need to do it immediately. Hmm. Then uh, insurance costs. Who will bear the insurance costs? How will, how will these insurance costs work hmm. out? Hmm. So there are many factors. We are being told that India is considering buying discounted oil. But we know that as far as sanctions are concerned, they are pinching Russia. Shreya, thank you so much for breaking down that story.